Hey guys, it's Clay. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another mail day. Today's a really cool one because I've got two SGC slabs to reveal. It's going to be a blind reveal, so super excited to get to that. Probably do it last. And then I got two eBay purchases. Um, yeah, so this card obviously took a little bit longer to get to me because... First off, it came from California, and second off, it was in a, an envelope. But at least it's in a one-touch. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's not what I bought. No. I guess this is uh, insulation using 2017, looks like 2017 state cards. But the true purchase is this really cool. Now, this isn't one of the most uh, uh, common patterns for uh, 2018 high tech. In fact, I used to have like the three really popular ones for Otani, then I sold them foolishly. Are you stupid uh, or but something? I didn't have this pattern, so I thought that was really cool. And uh, I think I have another, yeah, I do. I have another uh, Devers high tech. So. I like the I like the design from 2018. But anyway, there you go. Another Devers uh, rookie with two 2017 cards. So thank you to whoever you are on eBay. The next one is another one of my uh, short prints. I like to buy. When I'm buying Soto, I don't mess around with base because I know that when everything's said and done, it's going to be his, you know, short prints and numbered and, you know, parallel cards that are going to be the, it's probably got an address in there. But it's going to be his numbered and uh, short printed cards that are going to be of value. And so, shout out to Ed Westergriff, but I got the lava flow from last year's uh, Panini Prison, and this thing is just beautiful. Would you look at this? Wow. Really nice. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be looking at all the corners and edges just yet. I know Panini doesn't really have a great track record with you know, the processing of cards and some nice little cards here. Got yeah, a Sam Huff, looks like the second year. Jordan, A-Rod, I think these are all from this year, I wanna say. This is actually 2021, Lost and Hayes. But again, using cards as uh, protection. Kind of a running theme, though I don't think these are gonna be protected with uh, base cards. These, another shout out to uh, Boca Card Subs, were sent to SGC. Oh yeah, I forgot I also bought Card Savers. Is that what I bought? Yeah, I guess I did. Well, that's cool. I'm going to be sending a bunch of cards off anyway. So I also bought some card savers. Offers those at a good price. And here are my two cards I sent off. If you watched my previous videos, you know which ones they are. I'm not going to go over them until I open this up. I want to make sure I do not do a reveal because as I said before, I do not know what these grades are. Pretty well packaged. I'm going to keep this box. Look at that. It's in great shape. There we go. Oh. <laughs> it kind of seems unnecessary. All this uh, bubble wrap. Although I guess cardboard's only going to protect so much, so I'm guessing this is the, the Babe Ruth on top, 
yeah, so these are face down. This way, I hope. Sarah Gray or just the SGC logo? Perfect, great. Uh, well, good news is they're both graded. Return my uh, my two card saver fours to me, which I appreciate that. Thank you, Eric. And here comes the reveal. Make sure the case isn't cracked or anything like that. It looks okay. All right, so let's do this. So the first card is a 55 Ernie Banks. It's the second year. I predicted this would get anywhere between a 1.5 to maybe a 2.5. Hard to say. Let's just split the difference and call it a 2. Let's see. And 4. That's awesome. Wow, I really was a little too critical on this card. Nice. So nice. All right, yeah, that's awesome. A four. That is so cool. Awesome. Makes me want to crack this and resubmit it. Because maybe the guy who was grading this had a bad day. So, we'll see. All right, so here's the big Mamma Jamma. Probably the most I've ever spent on a raw card. Not probably. It is the most I've ever spent on a raw card. It is the, if you haven't guessed already, the 1932 Sonella, Babe Ruth. Um, Sonella Margarine Company was a German company. As you can see, this is all in German. Got its own little sleep there, I like that. Um, I guess that this one would get somewhere around a th three to four. And uh, if it gets a four, I'm gonna be ecstatic. So let's do the reveal. Three, two, one, go. Oh, two, five. You know what, you know what did it? It's this little wrinkle right here. See that? That's what did it, because everything else really shouts, you know, four to five. But if that stupid little wrinkle wasn't there, would have gotten a much better grade. But either way, really happy with uh, what I have. Super stoked about the four. Um, Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.